morning, everybody. Sorry I'm a couple minutes late. Um, eh, needless to say, I just get a little tied up with some stuff. Let's turn this around and we can get rid of this right here. Um, here, let me see something for a second and let me just see if I can do this. There we go. There we go. Here we are. All right. Um, good morning. It's Friday. It's January 7th. And let's just say that this morning I was supposed to be on a plane heading to California for a cruise to Hawaii leaving Sunday. Um, but as <clears throat> luck or... No, well, actually, it turned out to be pretty lucky. Um, it got canceled only because we... Real, we um, found out that we had been in contact with, you know, like within the past couple of weeks with my brother-in-law. We were the, we were all together the day after Christmas, and he had COVID. He was positive COVID. So my husband felt like he had a couple of the symptoms. So out of an abundance of caution, instead of waiting until we got to California uh, to be tested but right before the cruise, we decided to get tested on Sunday at a walk-in, which was actually amazing. Um, they were very well organized and everything. And a couple of days later, we were able to get the results, and my husband was positive COVID. So fortunately for him, it's nothing serious at all. It's pretty much, it was pretty much a sinus headache, and I think, I think I've blown my, I was negative at the time. Um, I was negative, and I think I've blown my nose more than he has. So fortunately, my brother-in-law ended up, he had a lot of chest congestion and like a really bad cold. Uh, they gave him some medication, and he's doing pretty well. Um, I don't know if it's something to be said for the vaccines, or if it's something to be said for the Omicron, which is tends to be less serious. So you can go either way with that. But if we take the experience of my brother, I'm pretty sure a lot of it had to do with the vaccines. Um, uh, you know, plus it being less less things. Uh, plus it ended up that the entire group that we were with ended up canceling the cruise only because there ended up being a whole lot more uh, hoops to jump through once you got on board. Besides having to be tested two days ahead of time, you also had to be tested the day of embarkation and two days later and we don't know how many other times during that two week cruise they were going to do it. Um, but anyway, that's neither here nor there there we've all gotten together and we're all going to go away next January so same cruise to Hawaii so hopefully everything will calm down by then keep my fingers crossed anyway that's my saga for the day so what I plan with everybody I hope you all got your awesome cat let me get this back here let me put this this way just so that it can I can do it a little bit better the awesome mini catalog which I can now show you the inside is this amazing there are so many fun things here and I'm just really really happy with a lot of the stuff I've been playing around a few you know like a little bit with some of the things and some things are like just like really awesome we played with this last week so you can see some of the samples here um and it's just look and this is this is a this is good morning hi susan how are you and um that's another that's another thing oh that was lucky for us not being able to leave this morning um our flight ended up being canceled this morning because we had snow this morning um not very much and the sun's out right now um so it's been our second little snowstorm this week so so much for that but this this has been held over um what's been held over is the deer punch is that not you know i love the deer so the deer was kind of cute with some other things um but what we are going to, what i'm going to play with today is let me see if i can find the right page for it oh i got this i just got it in the mail yesterday i just got it got it got it got it I, I am fun. I know. So it is. It's amazing products. 
I just love it. This is what I'm going to play with today, this artfully composed. I, um, during our little, our, like, virtual convention with Stampin' Up!, this is one of the products that they showed um, and demonstrated, and I kind of liked it, but there were other things I wanted to go ahead and get to begin with. So, this is... Um, I ended up getting it, and I've really had some fun with it. And, well, I, let me just say, I started to play with it yesterday. But let me show you what's actually in the suite. What's in the suite is this awesome stamp set, which is really great. You can make some neat backgrounds, because when you see the paper, the paper is just like that. I always love little, yeah, it says words, but if you can make them out, they're half, let me see. It's like, you know, it's just, you can't really make it out. It's, it's some other language. It could be, I don't know, Harry Potter language. I'm not sure. But I like the fonts on the writing. Um, and I, I, this is kind of cool. You know, and they all come out sort of separately when they do that. And I'm going to show you that. Um, and so you've got this. But it's got some nice little sayings. A little bit of everything. Sending all the hugs. Could be for anything. And then here are the dies with it. And these are kind of cool. And I'm going to show you because I actually did what I said I, I tried to do but haven't done just because I'm out of time. I actually have cut them out already. So you can see there's this with the leaf. There's this. There's this. I'll show you something. And then these are when you actually stamp, you can cut out those pieces. And I okay, let's see if you can see those other two little pieces. They don't cut out something, but you can leave a pattern and a, like sort of an embossed sort of pattern on your paper. Let me see if I can get it that one there. So you can see these leave like this is sort of sort of like a cross hatch, and then this one here, they leave like a um, embossed pattern. And this piece here, there's a couple things you can do with it, and I'll show you one of them. And this is how that works out. It's like a little. It looks like a little serrated, um, not serrated. I don't know what you want to call it. Da -da -da -da. Edge, you know, with the. Um, it's not scalloped, but you know. Looks like a pinking edge. But we're going to be playing with that. Let me show you what else comes in the suite. What else comes in the suite is this wonderful paper. The paper is really kind of cool. And always remember that there's always a piece where you can cut out the... Um, use the dies to cut out and I'll show you some of those and then this is the other side you have one side that's all flat thank you zigzag it just was not coming Pam it was not coming <laughs> so and then the other side is more like a, um you can use it for anything here's one of the other pieces so I think this may yeah this will cut out this one. It will also cut out this one. Because trust me, I looked at a sample on these <laughs> on the cards, you know, like on Pinterest and everything. And I'm like, how did they color that like that? Because there's not another stamp. And I'm like, duh, it was the paper. And let's see. I think, will this fit in here? There you go. So... You've got this that will fit in there with some of these. And I just absolutely love that that happens. And you can do that with these, you know, with some of the papers. So you've got, you can get all these, you can die cut those pieces. And on the other side is this that you can kind of use. And then here's this. I don't know that I would want, you could use that to kind of cut it out, but it really wouldn't. Uh, it's better on the other one you just kind of get but I like the colors the colors that they use in here and here's the other side this is a cool paper it's sort of like the uh, pear pizzazz and let me see I know I know the colors there's evening evergreen there's pear pizzazz there's um, coral there's pale papaya 
there's, and I, I'll read the rest of them on there. I like this. This is the coral. And I'll show you. I actually cut out one of the die cuts with this. And these, this is really cute. I like this. And then the other side is like an evening evergreen with sort of a pattern on it. But I just love, you know, the other side is sort of plain. This side is really busy. I like this paper. I like this one. It's really cute. It's got a little bit of everything in it. Good morning from Texas. How are you? I hope your weather is good. Mine is, you know, today is sunny out there, but it's going to be so so freaking cold that isn't even funny. Okay, the colors they used in this are Bumblebee, Calypso Coral, Evening Evergreen, Just Jade, Mint Macaron, Old Olive, Pale Papaya, and Pear Pizzazz. They used almost every green color that you can think of. Um... Except, yeah, that they got the Just Jade in there. The Bumblebee. I'm guessing that some of this yellow is the Just Bumblebee, but I really never figured on just using that, that color, but it's there. Uh, it's, you know, sometimes I try to remember some of the colors, and this has got a lot of them. So, and then the other thing, which is really cool that comes with this, are these printed vellum papers. Oh, you're freezing cold down in Texas? Yeah, we're about that. We had snow this morning. It snowed during the night. And um, so it's like it's going to kind of be, I, you know, it's days like this. I'm a retired nurse. And it's days like this that I am like, oh, my God, I am so glad I don't have to go to work. Um, because it was like always, I always had to go to work, no matter what the weather, no matter what was going on. I've even, I've even had, I've been, I was doing this. Well, I've even had it one time where we had such a bad storm. This was back in the '80s that I had to have the National Guard pick me up, you know, near my home. So anyway, here's printed vellum, which is really cool. This is kind of a map. It doesn't give anything really much. This is kind of cool because it's kind of like, it's it's kind of hard to see, but it is some like, it almost looks like newspaper columns. It's just, you know, the way, or a page. Here's another sort of a map. That one was in black. And then here's one with like the tone on tone. So you can see that. Oh, cool. What kind of nursing did you do? In my, like, 40-some years of being a nurse, I did a little bit of everything. I did, um, I, I did, I worked for an oral surgeon. I did med surge. Then I worked for an oral surgeon in between having my children. Then I went back to work and I did OBGYN. And then I did research. And then I did interventional radiology. And when I finally left, I had been working in dermatology clinic. So I did a little bit of everything. The clinic is where they were a little bit more flexible whether we had to come in or not. So see, this is what this is this is a page that's in black that's similar to the one that I showed you. It was kind of hard to see, sort of in columns. And then this one, sort of like, it's kind of hard to tell, and it only came in the white, but it's sort of like squares of wording, kind of all like an, an almost like a checkerboard sort of pattern. So you get, so with the suite so far, you get this, this, the stamp set, the paper, the, um, uh, the, The vellum, the regular paper, then what I'm going to work with now, this is the ribbon that comes with it. It's kind of hard to see, but it's really soft. You can do something with it. It's white, but it's got a shimmer to it. It's got a neat little shimmer to it. Oh, ER for 25 years. Woo! I, I was not one that was, I did not, I was not crazy about like, I, 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 had been in the ER in my in my training. Um, that was not my thing. Critical care was not my thing. Although I would have appreciated being critical care when my brother was just recently sick and before he passed away, because I would have appreciated knowing some of this stuff. So, 
um, I admire the ER people. I really, really do. The ER people and critical care people. I think it just kind of freaked me out because I thought I wasn't smart enough for it. But I could have been because we, we had our share of, of issues in any, in any setting, but especially in interventional radiology. So, um, these are the gems that come with it. These are faux sea glass shapes. Is that not cool? These, it, it's got like, um, I'm trying to think of the colors that you want to call it. That might almost be like a pale, uh, let me see if it says what colors they are. Oh, just jade, old olive, and white. I, I... I'm trying to figure out which one would be which. I would say this was me the more just jade. I, I'd be hard-pressed to, to put this as old olive and then the white. But these are really cool. Sea glass is one of my coolest things. My neighbor, she used to make um, sea glass jewelry. She used to find sea, sea grass, especially because they have a... a um, timeshare in St. Croix so she could find some really cool sea glass and she made some jewelry with that but that's everything you can see that comes with the suite you can buy it as a bundle get 10% always remember with your bundles in the catalogs if it's a bundle it's usually 10% off so that's really really cool but okay that's my show so this is what I'm going to play around with today. This is the card I make. And let me say, using this set, you can be as simple or as complicated as you want. Because you can dress it up, dress it down. This is just, it was just too, too simple. So see, I'm still having a hard time thinking that this is Old Olive. I really don't know. It looks like a cross. It could be when you put it on the paper. It could be kind of a cross. It almost looks, it almost looks, because this is um, pear pizzazz, it could almost, I don't know. So we shall see. That's my diatribe for the day. So now what I used for this is the colors that I used for this were like, this is the evening evergreen. And then this is the pattern paper that I used. And you can see on the other side, it's that coral. So, let me see. Did I? Yeah. I'm going to put, the, I'm actually going to put this down first. You know that I'm not, sometimes I'm not fun on wanting to put everything down, but this is just a layer. The other ones are just right on top of it. So, those I won't put down till I'm done. So, this is your usual five and a half by eight and a half and then scored it four and a quarter and this is cut five and a quarter by four and we're going to layer this right on here told you my little trick i try to get these three sides all equal when you finally put it down it usually i it usually works out sometimes sometimes i've had issues with it <laughs> here i have a piece of the vellum this is the one with the kind of two letters that sort of are in a checkerboard pattern. So I just cut that, just because I just wanted to kind of calm down some of that just to make the other things on top of it. So let me show you what I did here. Okay, let me get my dies over here. Using my big baby this morning. So you can see I'm using the other side of this. So instead of using cardstock, I'm just using the um, thing. Now, if you're smart, which I wasn't, and I'm still not smart today, but I, since I'm layering it, it's not really as important to use it. You know, to because to, I'm becoming a good big fan, and I realize after the fact that I should have used the adhesive sheets. So I am going to cut this out using this die. So, yeah, it's been um, 
It's been like a really let me let me tell you that as far as the trip we were supposed to be on this coming couple of weeks, uh, you know, like all of us were a little bit disappointed, especially me. I think I spent the first three days pretty much crying, only because I knew we weren't going to be able to go. Um, and. Uh, so I'm going to run this back through again because I think the other day I just had a little problem. Um, uh, you know, just really, really upset. And then we, then they decided they were still going to go. Our group is a group of eight of us that have been together. On, it's, it's really almost a core group of us that, six of us that actually go on the cruises together. And then there's another one that'll come sometimes. They don't sell this anymore. This is my favorite tool. They have, they have the other one, the pick your pick your tool thing. But I like this one. It's a little bit better. Okie doke. Get this out. I wish they would do a set of tweezers in there, but I use tweezers. I have tweezers all over the place. I try to, partly because some of it had to do that I also used to do some vinyl work, but now I've got myself a sublimation printer, so I got something else that I do. I, have, I get myself into more than I knew, but my, my biggest loves are this and then my sublimation printer. Whoop. Cool. Um. <laughs> so... I'm going to cut that out. So there. So you could use the um, you could use just the just coral, but you could cut this anywhere on your paper to get a little bit more dimension. I think there's another piece that ha might have a little bit of something else that I've seen some other people done, but I just like the little bit lighter feel of it. So let me see. Where's my white paper? Again. Did I bring a sheet, some white paper? No. Let me get, it should have been in there, but it's not. Let me grab some white. Um, that I have tons of. Let me see, get this. Get this, all these white scraps. Okie doke. So I've got that one. Let me put that on the side. I thought I lost one earlier. Now, let's see what we're going to do here. I'm going to use my Evening Evergreen. And here's the stamp set. Doesn't take much. And I'm going to use this nice leaf here. And just fits on there. But isn't that, you know, it's just a really pretty leaf. And can you imagine, just, just do different shades of green and make a nice background paper. Or it, it, you don't even have to make a whole sheet of paper. Just take and pay, cut your paper in half or whatever layer you want. And make, your own, make your own background paper sometimes. There's that. I'm going to put that on the side. And then I use this one and this funky little ferny kind of look and I stamped that in pearl pizzazz I'm hoping yeah I think I'm gonna have to ink this pad up but that's okay I'm gonna use this Ta -da, ta -da. I have so many scraps of white going all over and these are really kind of cool because when you stamp them and I don't think it has anything to do with the fact but but it's almost you know even if your stamp pad needs to be a little bit you're going to get like sort of a shaded needs to be re-inked a little bit it's got a shaded sort of a look to it too so it's really kind of interesting so now I'm going to use and I'm going to cut these babies out so you could probably use the small one, but I've got the big one out here, and I'm going to go ahead and use this. So, 
Yeah, so... It was really bizarre with this whole COVID thing, you know, like with my husband. We actually got a call from, like, the contract tracing people for state of Maryland. And they must have talked. I don't know how long they talked to him. They, he, they talked to him for quite a while. And then they actually called me and everything. <clears throat> I will say that, yes, we still do sleep in the same bed. But for the most part during the day, and we always have been, we usually do stuff. He's usually downstairs or upstairs while I'm, you know, like sort of in the middle layer. So it's not like we're on top of each other, even though we're both retired. We're not on top of each other the whole day at all. So we more or less are. But number one, they tell you all that to quarantine and to do that if you come back positive. But we were together before that and after that so at that point we're not going anywhere anyway so I did go to the store the other day since I could do that he can't and I wore KN95 I bought a whole bunch of those man I got some really cool color ones um on Amazon, yeah. So I went to the store, and I'm not a... Our, our county does not require a mask. It's not mandated, but I was. I did wear a mask. If it's not mandated, I prefer not to wear it. Sometimes this just doesn't want to lay in there the way I want it to. And... Only because, you know, for the most part, for a lot of the times, most of the time, we just had our regular cotton masks, which you get mixed reviews on that. But I just was feeling safer with the KN95s. So, like I said, go on Amazon, check it out. You can get a pack of them. Pretty cool. Pretty inexpensive. And that's what we were going to use on the cruise. And there we go. Sometimes I just have to... Which I don't think of it all the time, especially when I'm on a roll. Every time You should just keep flipping it and turning it and everything like that. They still get beat up. They still get whatever. Let me just... Ugh, let me make a mess here. Um, something went flying. I see it. And then... Let me see. Let me... Oh, that's the other piece. Let me see. Okie doke. This is the one that I really wanted to show you. This piece here. Now, what I am going to do with this, sometimes it can be a little tricky. Getting it lined up. But, let me see. I'm going to try to do it. It's a little bit backwards for me, but I want to try and show you. Now I have my piece of green. So this is Evening Evergreen. So now what I'm going to do is let me see. I'm going to put this over here because sometimes I'm going to show you when I start off. So I'm just going to, I really want to make sure that it lays flat. So sometimes these little skinny pieces, so I just kind of do that just to get it to lay flat a little bit better. Okie doke. This first part, it doesn't make any difference if it moves a little or if it doesn't, but the second part, the second part that I'm going to show you makes a difference because I'll show you what I'm doing this for. I wanted to do it just to be able to show this part off. So I've got that in there. This is what I did. Whoop, let me get that in focus a little bit more. That. So, okay, let's see what we got here now. So what I got is 
this. So you can see that's the ending. You would cut that off just like if you're using it on the edge of a card or however you're going to be doing that. So now what I want to do is I want to do this the opposite way. Put this, put the straight edge and sort of line it up so that they're even. Let's see. That'll do that. And you can put as much space as you want between the serrated kind of looking line. Serrated is the best thing I want. But serrated means you're going to be cutting it off or whatever you're going to be doing. But, um, and then I'm going to put this down. Yesterday when I was trying to do this, that bugger kept on wanting to move and to move and to move. And I had the trouble lining it up this time. Thank you everybody for watching because this time it worked out just perfect for me. So, this is what you end up getting. Da -da, da -da, da -da. I don't need that much so I'm going to just cut that off there. This is what you end up getting. Which just makes a pretty little decoration, a little bit something different. This would be cool, like on the edge of a thing. So actually, you're, you can get like two pieces to use on the edge of a card. You've got the one that it cuts out with this, or you've got, you know, just this edge right there. So, got a bunch of different stuff. Okay, now let's get this baby together. <laughs> And there it is. It was like, oh, I already lost my first layer. Okie doke. Do -do 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 -do. Now what I did, let me see how I did this. Okie doke. This is what I did. All right, now for this, to put this down on here, everybody knows that you can kind of like, you can use whatever you want. At first I used glue dots and now I'm sitting there thinking I didn't really need to do that. I'm going to be covering up the middle. I don't care if this is down on here. I'm going to be putting this in the middle. So I'm just going to take my stamp and seal, just put a blob of that in the middle and boom. See, it looks a little bit darker, but nobody's going to notice because I'm putting all this other stuff on top. Now what I did is then I just layered this over the top. I felt like this was a little bit thicker to kind of put on there. I like how it's got, it's like sort of grow grain, sort of like and cut it off. So, let me see. To put this down, I think I used some of this. <laughs> some of the white glue. <laughs> and then, just put that down right across the middle. Yeah, I just felt it was a little bit too thick if I had turned it underneath of the one piece. So that's why I did it this way. And that's what I did with this. I put this, I just used some of the mono adhesive. Just one strip across there. And then did that across here, snip this off here, and that's done. Bum, bum, bum. Is that not cool? It's just kind of a cool little accent to just kind of the ribbon. You could do another ribbon over top of it. I could have used the um, Evening Evergreen ribbon that's in there. That, God, that's a pretty ribbon. I love that ribbon. 
And then the rest is, let me see, I am going to take, and where's my one leaf? Okay, this was on the bottom. And I'm just gonna be using some dimensionals to kind of lift them all up. Da -da -da -da. You can, you know, use whatever you want. Sometimes I have to decide, do I wanna kind of do a, um, you know, put one down completely flat and just kind of do it. And I just, it's just like, oh, I love my dimensionals. Oh, thank you, Marsha. Yeah, it was just something I wanted to, okay, and then I'm gonna, just gonna put, and then the rest of it is just kind of, okay, let me get it like there. This is, this is a little bit thicker, thinner. This is the one I said, if I were just gonna, if I needed it flat on a piece, I would use a piece of it with the um, adhesive sheets underneath of it and cut it out with the adhesive sheets. This, I, those things are absolutely amazing. Now with this, this one, I just would take a couple of little glue dots and put them down in some spaces. You can put that. Because I'm just gonna kind of put it on top over here. So I wasn't worried if this one, you know, had some like little mini dimensionals or whatever. You don't need a whole lot. And just kind of like that. And then this one is gonna be there and I'm gonna use some um, do three dimensionals on this. God, I love my dimensionals. I could, I go, I could you I, I don't think I make a card without dimensionals. And then this, so you've got that all together, and I want a little bit of a saying. So I just used the thank you, and I was trying to think what could I use to put on that. And I like, I, I really like the tailored tags, tailor-made tags. They're amazing. You can use them for so many things. So, I stamped this, I just stamped that with that. <laughs> and I used this one. It was like the next smallest. And actually, let's bring this little baby over. Bum, 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 bum. The only thing with the with the little one, you got to remember, you can't have your paper too thick going through there. Ah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. Now I know I should have two of them over here. Now I'm going to have to bring my big one up because, like. And then later on, I'm going to find it. Ta -da, ta da I can't find my other little cutter thing for it. That's okay. I know it's around. I also, another thing, another thing that, um, I also show you during my demonstrations is everything you shouldn't do. <laughs> everything, it's like, whoops, if, if you, you'll see mistakes all over the place. And sometimes I would watch some people and it's like, God, everybody looks so perfect. But then I have watched a few YouTubes where, nah, nah, every, it happens everywhere. Okie doke. Put this back down here put this over here and so just with that and then I took some of these awesome sea glass Ta -da. 
this time I'm gonna kind of just kind of and I'm gonna do a white one kind of blends in there a little bit put a couple of those on there I know I try to convince myself of that but sometimes it's like you see some people and it's like oh my god never see cards and it's like oh my god but then I tend to want to be on the simple side because if I'm going to do something I don't want to spend hours trying to figure out and then I have, this is the amazing Baker's Twine Essentials Pack. I love the Baker's Twine. And put this on here. Just put that in there through that. And I'm back on that. Cut that off a little bit. I tend to cut off longer, longer, way longer than I need, and then later, then I cut it off because I've already cut myself short on different things. And this is left over from a paper pumpkin pack. So sometimes it's it's if anybody does paper pumpkin. It's really, really cute, and I really, really like it. Um, when it first came out, I wasn't real thrilled with it. And then I just put this on there, just kind of skewed. I was trying to figure out, how do I want to put that, kind of hide some of the things that you got there? Boom. And then on the inside, what I would do, which I haven't done here, now, is I would put a piece of paper with, um, with a saying I would probably use this because that's like one of my little favorites with that I'm not going to get up and get another piece of paper uh, 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 uh. and that's it no mistakes in crafting that's right because you can always cover it up with glitter or another die cut yes you can amazing but it used to be the glitter that used to do. Let me show you another card that just before I got started this morning, I sat there and I thought, I, I, I want to make one more other card to show you. I did this. I, when I started this card, it was going on 10 o'clock. This is a couple why I was a couple minutes late. This one. Did that is that? And these are this is this is a, one of the other papers. It's a, one of the different other little ones. Um, and then I cut, this is the pear pizzazz. Then I took the pear pizzazz, and I just got these yesterday, too. I had ordered these. These are the stripes and splatters embossing folder, the 3D. Check that out. Is that not cool? I think I saw somebody else use them. I thought, I've got to get that. And I like these stripes because they're not, they're not solid. Uh, you know, it, it's not like stripes. Up. There we go. You can see it better that way. Is that not the coolest? So I'm going to be playing with that. And so I use that on these. And then I cut out these using the um, Pear Pizzazz Sparkly. Um, Pear Pizzazz Sparkly Vellum Paper. It came in with the colors for the end colors this year. So I thought, I'm going to use that and just cut out a couple of those, make a little airy. And then I cut out a tag using the, the um, tailored tags, the favorite tags. I've got, I know I've got them over here. Um... They've got all different kinds of shapes and everything. Cut it out with that. And then I took my blending brush and just kind of went over it real, real lightly with the, the um, pear, um, pale papaya. And then just did the edges with that. And then these are the iridescent rhinestones that are in one of the other bundles in the catalog. Um, but I just wanted to use something different. But... It you, it does and like I said, I did this. I was a couple minutes late getting on, but that was only because I had to get my computer on and everything. But you can do so much with these, and even if you don't want to. Oh, here here's here's the I used these. I used it was this one. 
these are the tasteful labels. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Gave you a nice little peek at the, you know, catalog. So glad we can actually open it up and show you now. I'm really excited with that. So I hope you enjoyed it. Hope everybody just kind of, you know, stay safe, stay warm down in Texas. We're trying to stay warm here, and I think it's still supposed to be cold tomorrow. Oh, makes me chilly just thinking about it. So everybody have a great weekend, and I will see you next Friday. Um, and if anybody has any tips or any anything that they want me to show that's in the new catalog, please feel free to put it on my Facebook page. I mean, yeah, on my Facebook page, Barb's Ink Pad. Um, and I gladly take suggestions. Sometimes I have an idea on something that I want to do. Um, I've got a bunch of different things, so just let me know. And if I have it, I'll show it to you, and we'll see what we can play with and what we can do. Have a great weekend, and enjoy. Bye-bye.